Uh, welcome, friend, to this channel, uh, uh, The Kingdom of Love. Today I'm bringing you a topic named Taking Back a Cheater is a Serious Crime. Taking Back a Cheater is a Serious Crime. Well, in this world, a lot of cheating is going on in this world. Research shows that 86% of men are cheating and 62% of women are cheating in the relationship they are in. This is a very uh, great number and therefore it's more likely that you have been cheated on by your girlfriend or your past boyfriend or your past girlfriend. And therefore, I just want to tell you, for those who are watching this video for the first time, I just want to tell you, taking back a cheater is a crime that you always regret. I just want to tell you one example which came to my office of a, la of a lady, of a lady who, after forgiving his partner, after forgiving her partner, the first crime of cheating, the second crime of cheating, and then ended the relationship, she came and realized later that the same boyfriend had cheated on her with her friends, four of them. He cheated on her with four of, uh, friends of, he, of hers, not only so, but also a relative of hers as well. So it's a serious thing and it's really very painful to come across a person who doesn't value you. You know what? If your partner values, values your relationship just because of sex, you are in a serious trouble. And therefore, taking back a cheater into, into, into your heart will bring the following problems. Number one, there will always be insecurities. It means that you will always be anxious about what if he cheats again? What if she does it again? And this, of course, will make you so miserable because you're not sure exactly what is going on in his life. So whenever he fails to pick up a call in time, whenever he delays answering back your SMS, you will always be anxious. And this is not a good condition for your heart. You know what? You were created by God to live a life filled with peace and joy. And therefore, whenever there's something which is, 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 is causing anxiety within you, your life is disturbed and you're no longer happy, and then your life becomes meaningless. It's the kind of thing which, of course, well, you will encounter in a relationship with a person who has cheated upon you the first time. Is that because you are so insecure, you become so anxious whether he is going to repeat the same mistake, you start correcting him, watching over him, and really trying to investigate on him as well. So you try to find out, has he started cheating or not? Once you do that, your, your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend will be irritated. He'll find you bothersome. He'll find you uh, someone who really are not contributing toward his or her happiness. And therefore, he'll be cross. He'll be angry. He'll be upset about whatever questions you are asking, whether where are you, where didn't, why didn't you pick my call? He'll become angry with you. And this will drive him to cheat again. So you see, you're placing yourself in a very difficult situation. You see, because you expected a dog to become a lizard. And this will never happen. So I think you need to take care of yourself and think twice. Another thing which will happen when you take back a cheater, when you take back a cheater, someone who has really hurt you intentionally, don't tell us, don't, don't listen, don't believe anyone who tells you it was an accident. No, there's no such thing as an accident when it comes to cheating. This is a grown up person, it's someone who is mentally fit. Why could he control himself? So, another thing which, of course, you are doing harm to yourself is that when you take back a cheater, he will come to one conclusion, which is evil. He will say, well, well, as long as he's forgiven me, he really can't live without me. And therefore, he'll do it again. It means that you'll be hurt. You'll be in severe pain the second time you discover that, again, he has cheated on you. And it's not good for you as well. Another thing, of course, which you, you will really suffer for taking back a cheater. You are causing yourself not to really respect yourself enough because you've allowed someone to use you. You've allowed someone to abuse you. And therefore, your confidence level will diminish. And once it diminishes, 
in, in another relationship, you'll be so unstable and you'll have a hard time to maintain another relationship when this guy leaves you. And therefore, you need to realize that you are doing harm to yourself. Another thing which you need to realize when you are taking back a cheetah is that you are causing damage to yourself in a way that you can't be good to anybody else. What I mean is this. Once you allow a cheetah to lie to you, and you enable, enable you to believe in his lies one way or another, because uh, a second time, he doesn't want to be caught a second time. And if he be so clever, he keep on telling all lies to you. And therefore, you have a hard time believing, even when he's telling you something which is true, you won't believe. And therefore, another thing which will happen is that this person will become so irritated. Why don't, don't you believe me? Lastly, if he cheated on you, if, I repeat, if he cheated on you, he cannot change for you. So don't expect change in a cheater. So don't expect change in a cheater unless, unless he is born again and become a new person. He is born again and become a new person. And how will you tell? How will you know that he's born again and become a new person? I just want to, uh, I just want to invite you. There's another new video which is coming on uh, next week, probably. Next week, another video. Uh, how can a cheater give you a proof that he will never cheat again? So you need to know exactly what you need to hear, to see from a cheater who has cheated on you, and give, that he may give you a proof that he will not repeat the same mistake because he's afraid of losing you. So you need to know exactly what are the things which will really ensure that this person really has, has turned into a new leaf. Another a video which is coming, but if you, know, you haven't subscribed, please, I ask you to subscribe today. Another video which I'm planning to, to bring to this channel is the excuses that cheaters are using to cheat on you. So be prepared. If you haven't subscribed, you have subscribe, please you, uh, subscribe today and be a member of this channel and you'll benefit a lot from it. God bless you. Take care of your good self.